Hey friends, I'm competing tomorrow and uh, you should check out what I am bringing with me because <laughs> Are you helping me pack? <laughs> uh, this question a lot of what I bring and how I pack. I do have the powerlifting meat day checklist right here. You can download it for free. It is going to be very helpful and basically outline what I am bringing today. Start with what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing basically whatever I'm gonna compete in in terms of underwear, but just in case they wanna see it, I'm gonna bring another set of underwear. So that is um, panties and bra. I'm gonna weigh in on those things. So letting you, you should probably pack those separately in case they wanna see them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You are um, checking your equipment the same day. Then t-shirt without any logos, very important. If you have logos on your t-shirt, that registered with that federation, you will not be allowed to wear that t-shirt and you will also not be allowed to wear it inside out. I have worn a t-shirt inside out once <laughs> at a smaller meet, but typically not a good idea. Just bring a plain t-shirt without anything like this, right? Singlet. So some people who don't compete call it a onesie. <laughs> Please don't call it a onesie. It's a singlet. Whatever I wear on the platform. Uh, two powerlifting shoes for squats and my knee sleeves. The reason why I'm bringing the second pair. Squat shoes, knee sleeves, belt, down the socks, down the shoes, two sets of wrist straps. I'm probably gonna use these, but just in case I'm bringing the black ones. Uh, squat socks, very important. You need to bring squat socks. You cannot squat them. Deadlift socks. Um, a bunch of uh, hair ties, uh, even though I don't have hair, but I might use that just to keep my equipment together. That Those always come handy, and this is a headband. Uh, Pre-workout, nose torque. I usually don't use it, but it's handy. It's nice to have. This beautiful sock. Take a guess of what's in it and write it in the comments. Three, two, one. And there is baby powder. The reason why it's in a sock is so that it doesn't get all over my bag like it normally does if it's without a freaking sock. So take a note. Uh, deadlift straps for warm-ups. Um, my mouth guard with a cool sticker. By the way, you can get these at katiagorbachava.com. Shame's plug, they're awesome stickers. Uh, I usually do not use tape for fingers, but just in case something messes up with my hands, it's always handy to have. Makeup, I'm gonna do makeup after I weigh in. And I usually don't bring a bag on wheels, I usually bring a backpack, but this time the Vegan Strong team sent me a bunch of recipe brochures, so I am going to bring all of those to the competition because I feel like people would really enjoy our, our recipes. Protein scorecards and uh, information about amino acids and other vegan protein stuff in case lifters have vegan friends who want to get into lifting, they don't know what to eat. I think it's a great thing to give away. Food. Uh, Coca-Cola, very healthy, I know. Water. I figured out coffee doesn't really work for me when I drink it before any kind of sports things, it kind of hot drinks, cozy and like bubbly drinks make me feel uh, and ready to go. So if I'm gonna drink something with caffeine, it's gonna be pre-workout or it's gonna be some kind of a um, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, something like that. I don't really like them, but if I need extra quick sugar in my blood and extra quick caffeine, those are great options. So two bottles of water, I think that'll be enough, but we can refill those. Uh, a thing to uh, mix a protein shake with protein already in it. Uh, creatine, pre-workout, oh no, pre-workout is already in the bag. This is my vitamins. I am pretty good about not forgetting them, not forgetting all my medications and vitamins, very important. Uh, apples, bananas, this is not just for me, this is probably for me and boyfriend and potentially friends who are hungry. Uh, Lenny and Lara's protein cookie. Uh, those are vegan, by the way, and they're really yummy. Uh, I really don't eat a lot of Sour Patch Kids, but it's kind of a powerlifting, I guess, shtick. So uh, I'm going to show off with my Sour Patch Kids and <laughs> probably take photos with those. And then it's really handy to have like small packets that are, have been giveaways at different kinds of events because, um, again, quick sugar, uh, some fruits, quick electrolytes, um, more creatine. Uh, and silverware. Nobody ever at events like this. It's really annoying when you're like bringing food and everybody has food. I'm probably gonna throw in a bunch of other pairs of silverware and spoons and um, forks because nobody has it. Food-wise, I am going to bring TVP rice. 
hope I haven't burnt the thing. I may have burnt it. Yeah, so this is TVP rice made with coconut milk. It is yummy, and the reason why I put a whole thing of coconut milk in there is because I want as many calories in it as possible. I want it filling. I don't want to go to like Whole Foods and get a muffin and drive around. I try to bring food with me and finding like, I really like muffins at competitions, but finding vegan muffins at 6 a.m. It's probably not gonna happen and the competition is at Dorton Arena in Raleigh so that is a state fair arena building it's indoors there's a huge parking lot around it and I don't think it'll be very convenient to get into the arena weigh in uh, check equipment go out drive out get food come back park probably very far away because everybody's gonna take the parking spots next to the buildings and try to get into the building and then that'll be time for warm-up already so I don't want to rush and do all of that stuff I'm probably just gonna come in do equipment check-in weigh in and find a corner to hang out with friends who start to trickle in eat do my makeup put on my uniform and start warming up so yeah that's the plan oh foam roller is not in here but it's already in the car so yeah I'm also bringing lacrosse balls and foam roller uh, that are usually hang out in the car uh, bringing chairs is usually a good idea, but I don't have a problem sitting on the floor So I might throw like a foldable chair into the car. We're taking a big car today, so it doesn't harm um, Because yeah, there's usually no seating in the back. So I might throw a chair too actually That's a great great idea. So yeah, if you like the video like the video <laughs> If you are getting ready for a powerlifting competition, you found this useful um, Write a comment for the algorithm. I'd be very very happy. Um, the majority of people who watch this channel are not subscribed, which makes me sad. So since it's a relatively new channel, I would ask you to please subscribe and share if uh, you find the powerlifting meet day checklist useful. It's going to be in the description. And please let me know if you want more videos like this or what, what kind of content you want. My name is Katya Gorbacheva and I hope to see you at Raleigh Dorton Arena at 9 a.m. tomorrow to support all the lifters and of course yours truly bye i will be away all day tomorrow i'm sorry you'll have to be home alone but i will come back and possibly bring the award